Happy post-Thanksgiving Monday, America. The rest of the world, happy Monday. It's really happy Monday. No, today's Cyber Monday, so happy Cyber Monday, planet Earth. Um, things are getting back on a regular schedule here. I'm finishing up uh, G.I. Joe uh, versus Six Million Dollar Man issue one this week and going into issue two. I got some William the Last stuff to uh, catch up on. And uh, I was thinking, because uh, I, I did a cover recently, and um, for freelancers, it's usually, and every freelancer that I talk to is the same way, that if you're not working, you feel guilty because you feel like you should be working. And um, there's definitely a urge uh, to always, or a, uh, that you always feel the need that you should be physically cranking something out. You should be in factory mode, making the thing that you're going to sell or making the thing that you're... Um, um, the person you're working for on whatever particular job, um, you need to just be getting work done. Um, and it's true, you do need to do that. But don't underestimate the uh, times when you're not at the, if you're for an artist for me, at the table uh, drawing. A lot of times I get some of my best ideas when I'm not at the table and it, sometimes it's, there's a mental thing where if you sit down and say, oh, I'm going to come up with this idea for a cover and you're sketching out things. For me, um, I, I realized the last couple covers, for example, I've done, and story ideas and, and can be the same way, happen when I'm thinking about it when I'm not at the table. So I, I know the last uh, couple covers I did, I think one of them came when I was working a couple, well, one of them I thought of when I was working out, another one when I was driving down the road thinking about it. But it occurred to me like some of the best ideas come when you just kind of set aside time uh, to just let your mind wander. And that's kind of the, the common denominator. At the gym, when driving, your mind is wandering and that's when you stumble across a good you know, idea. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, if you don't take time to budget that space in your schedule, you will always be in productivity mode in which um, if, you, if, you get, if the balance gets tipped too far, in productivity mode, or at least what you think of as productivity, uh, um, like cranking out pages or whatever a thing is, like making the actual whatever. Um, and you don't, if you lean too far on that side, you don't get the, um, you don't have the time and the mental space and the freedom to actually think of things that you're not going to stumble across while you're working. Um, it's really, the challenge is when you're, especially when you're a freelancer, uh, you feel like you're not doing anything. So if I say I take an hour or whatever, or um, I'm going to, you know, just kind of let my mind wander and, you know, if you take a walk, sit out on the patio, go to the gym, whatever it is that you do, that time is still valuable and necessary to stumble across, generate whatever the ideas that you take to the drawing table um and you don't always the, the struggle is you don't always hit on them uh, necessarily but i found that those those moments where you're free to, for your mind to wonder um are important because even though in any given like session say you budgeted that hour you, you may go there and you know go for your walk you haven't and you come up with nothing and then you go back and you work um but over time, I think you, you'll get better ideas if you consistently budget that time, plan on that time to just think and and uh, just have that breathing space. Your mind needs it um, to come up with ideas. Um, and some of the best ideas I think you come across when your mind is just wondering. Um, so that... Uh, this is feels like a bit of a ramble. I think the the vlog. I had somebody comment that uh, my my videos um, come down to rambling. <laughs> Sorry, uh, for the uh, for the vlogs. That's just the way it is um, because everything can't be a thing, and I will never. Get, if if I have to like write out and do a big outline on everything on my thoughts for a vlog, you're not getting a vlog because I don't have that much time um, for this. But um, the the videos where I'm actually drawing or walking talking through a tutorial or something those I will I'm gonna try to make a little tighter but um, so um, this one does feel especially like rambling because it's uh, part of the, the reason I do this vlog and I've had a lot of subscribers recently I'm almost up to 600 now um, actually I think I was one away from 600 so I'm getting close to a thousand 
Um, part of this vlog is just to kind of hash things out because as I talk about them, it helps me work them out and hopefully it'll help you. So, um, budget that space, take a little time. Don't always feel like you have to be in production mode. You need to have time to have that little bit of space to breathe and come up with ideas. Um, so if you like um, the channel, like and subscribe. Uh, click the bell down here in the descriptions. Which side is it on over here, I guess? Uh, yeah. Um, to be notified when there's a new um, video up. And uh, check out my webcomic. Uh, there's a link in the description. And I will see you tomorrow.